Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Roberto Guido, and I'm one of the Dos Cocos Locos. And today we are going to learn how to create transparent plastic textures for your graphics using just random pieces of plastic that you have in your house. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to grab some plastic before we even get into any of this computer stuff. So you're going to find plastic. I literally found random pieces of plastic that were either from our mail, um, Ziploc bags, Oreo holders, um, literally anything I could find. But what I liked the best were the ones that were just clear. So that's kind of what I, so I ended up creating a pack and we'll talk more about that later. But um, yeah, so you just need that and you need a clear surface that's a solid color. What I found was it works best if you use black. So I just happen to have a black table from Ikea. Shout out to Ikea. Um, so you just want to place your plastic on top of the table. Let's just say this is black. And then you're just going to use either your camera or your phone to take the photo. And then after that, you're good to go. All right. So now that you have that, you're going to open up Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, I'm sorry, but this is just how I learned how to do it. Um, there's probably other software out there that can do it as well but i'm gonna use photoshop because that's what i use all right so you're gonna click create new and then you're gonna have your width and your height at 4,000 pixels you're gonna click create so once you have your photoshop open here you're gonna go to wherever you have your photos saved so i'm just gonna use this example one here good to go all right so from here we can get rid of the background because we don't really, really need it so you're gonna unlock it click delete you're gonna go over here to the crop tool and then you're just gonna try to get as close as possible to the edges of your actual plastic wrap and everything else in your photo doesn't really matter so we're just gonna get rid of that all right so once you have your crop set up the right way you're gonna click enter it's gonna do this thing it's gonna crop it up so now that we have this we're gonna click on filter camera raw filter and here what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna try to make the blacks as black as possible and the texture from the plastic to be not white but basically somewhat different from the black from the table so then that way we can copy that layer and create a transparent plastic texture from that all right so those were the main things that we needed to change so there's just one more thing left so you're gonna go to these little uh, i like to call them like tree christmas trees they're called detail and we're gonna go to the amount and we're just gonna increase it around to seven and then we're gonna click okay so photoshop is gonna think a little bit do its thing and now we are here so from this part you're gonna click on image adjustments and levels and then we're gonna change these two values here we're gonna change this to 0.73 and this to 244 um for me i just kind of saw once i fixed this part these values were the best options um you can kind of tweak it a little bit more but for the purpose of these tutorials i'm just going to say just use these values you're you're pretty good with this you're going to click okay all right, cool. So now we have our black background with our plastic texture, and now we're getting ready to copy it and make it transparent. So basically we're gonna get rid of all that black and you can literally stick this plastic texture on anything you want and it'll kind of be like an overlay for it. All right, so we're gonna go to channels, click on the blue channel here, right click on it, duplicate channel, and then it's gonna say uh, blue copy. You can just save it like that. And then from here, you're gonna click this little circle here with these ant looking thingies, like ants in a circle, and click on that. And it's basically gonna capture our plastic texture. So from there, you're gonna go layers. You're gonna click on the polygonal lasso tool. I love my English. And then right click on your actual plastic texture and then click layer via copy. It's gonna think for a second and then literally we're gonna do the same thing so right click layer via copy and as you can see here we now have a transparent background here which is what we wanted so now what we can do is we can click on these eye icons 
and I'll get rid of that. And now we have a plastic texture with a clear background, but we're not quite done yet. So if you just export it right now, um, as you can see, there's kind of like this black haze around the whole plastic texture. And that's, and that's basically just because there was a little bit too much grain in the photo that I originally took. Um, I had my ISO a little too high and I put in some extra grain and you can't really use this on a, you can use it in a file, in a project, but it wouldn't look as good as it would be if you were to go in and erase all this grain. So that's what we're going to do. So as you can see, if you scroll in a little bit, there's a lot of grain around here. And at first you can't really see it, but if you click on your eraser tool and you start going through it, you can see that there is quite a difference. So um, yes, you do have to go in like super close in, zoomed in and erase this. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt just because it's a lot of, it's a lot of extra work but it's gonna be worth it in the end so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and and yeah I'll see you guys in a second all right so I kind of just remembered that I already made a whole plastic pack out, out of this specific one so I'm not just gonna redo it again but you guys have fun getting rid of the background real quick but yeah so you'll literally just keep going around until you race your whole gray background so it looks more like this so it looks more so it's actually transparent versus that gray transparency that's seen on this side so i know it's a lot of work to and i this it's not hard work but it's a lot of tedious work but once you have it done and you've taken the time to do it and you already have them then it saves you a lot of time so yeah so just keep going i believe in you guys so now we're just gonna jump into Premiere Pro to kind of just show you and give you an example of uh, what you can actually do with these plastic textures and why they're so cool. So here I have a uh, footage of New York when we went to Fashion Week last September, I wanna say. So yeah, it's just uh, there's just a cool statue that was just there. So I love birds, so I'm like, that's pretty cool. So I took footage of this. <laughs> and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of the plastics from my plastic pack that i created for you guys and show you what you can do with it so i'm going to use this one right here and as you can see it's actually a lot longer than what the footage is here and this is uh 1080 hd um so i'm going to go ahead and turn it to 90 degrees oops so to make sure you're on your plastic adjustment layer click 90 degrees here and as you can see, it kind of takes care of that whole horizontal view there. So as you can see, you have your plastic wrap on top of your video and it just looks really cool. And if you want to get a little crazy with it, you can go in, cut out different parts and rotate it different ways to make it look like it's actually moving. And then you can even go here, click on it change it to zero you can zoom in on it if you want and it's really high quality so you really don't lose any any detail and the plastic texture so you can really get crazy with it and then you can kind of see an example of the plastic moving around and I actually did that for the promo video so it's really cool what I really wanted to learn was just how to create something that lets you get rid of a background from a plastic specifically because for me that was mind-blowing to me so i just wanted to make a video and just share with you guys what i learned so in the description below i'm going to actually give you the link to our website where our packs will be available to you and they're actually free 100 percent free so whatever you want to do with it just download it um we just are currently in the process of thinking long term and we wanted to try this out and see if we could actually do it um we're realizing now that um our business so Merce and i we have our so Marissa is my wife. Um, we have a photography videography business and we've been doing it for two years now and we have a lot of fun, but there's a huge vulnerability as far as um, not being able to obtain money 
especially during right now this time where we can't really go out and film uh projects or cover events so this is literally pushing us to our limit creatively in a, in a good way to kind of think of different ways that we can provide value to you guys and possibly later on in the future sell like packs and stuff like that so this is why we wanted to give this pack for free um just because we want to kind of teach you something as well because this is really cool and we believe that you should be learning new tips and tricks on how you can um possibly sell something online but also it's going to help us in return because we're going to see um what we can actually do with what's in our house and how to utilize it and use the work that we put into this because this actually took a lot of work but have that work continue to work for us and not just kind of disappear because when we do like a photo shoot or a video shoot there's a lot of hours that go behind that too but once the project is done and we get paid for the project um that's it and then we have to go find another job or another project to do um with these possibly in the future like yeah it's gonna take a lot of time to do it but maybe a year from now not specifically this project but like another project that we de decided to do for a digital pack that could probably sell in a year after that like it can continue to sell so we're we're just switching our mindset as far as like where we're thinking where we're going as far as those cocos locos and kind of wanted to show you what we're trying to do so i know this tutorial was a little rough just because i didn't really know how to explain all of that while explaining how to make plastic texture packs um but I hope that that kind of made sense. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Now go make some cool plastic texture packs. Um, and if you don't have Photoshop, literally, I don't want to have you guys create an excuse for yourself. If you do not have Photoshop, literally all you need is a phone or a camera, plastic and a, and a black background and if you can take a photo of a plastic with a black background send it to us at info at those cocos locals .com, and i'll literally create a plastic pack or a, a plastic texture from the plastic picture that you sent me because this is really cool we like it a lot and we just want to have you guys test out the waters too so this is us pivoting this is us currently pivoting to the situation that we are facing right now and we hope that this inspires you to use what you got look around your house use what you got and think of some new ways to make money because this is where it, I, like for us this is this is where we're pivoting to and it's really fun it's really exciting it's actually it's really nerve-wracking at the same time but um, we'll see where it goes all right all right, guys. So with that being said, once again, my name is Roberto Guido. Feel free to reach out to us. If you actually end up using the pack, tag us at Dos Cocos Locos on Instagram so we can check out what you actually made. We would love to share it. And yeah, peace.